Welcome to Tuesday Night. I am meteorologist Terrell Wade, and we got some cold air recently in North Carolina. And here's some more details here. So far, we've seen a high temperature only peak out at 44 degrees in Raleigh, well below our average of 60 degrees for early March. And we have currently a temperature of 36 degrees. It's going to continue dropping through the night, and I'll have more of that in a little bit. But first, it actually was so cold that as a front was passing through in the southern portions of North Carolina early this morning, there was actually some snow that fell. In fact, this is from Eric Webb, a former NCSU weather grad, and he actually had captured some photos from Lumberton, and this is actually snow that's flying. So while that system cleared out, it's a sign that we are in quite the cold air mass, and we're going to be keeping this around for a while. So first, this is a look at what we're going to be seeing tonight. The surface map is showing that we are right behind the cold front and this has allowed some cool northwest winds to arrive in North Carolina. It's also being supported by this area of high pressure over the plains. And finally, with these cool temperatures and a clear night, we can expect these temperatures to drop quite a bit. Then as we get to tomorrow, we maintain this cool air mass as there's still no clouds in the area, but there's still these northwesterly winds that are going to be supplying the cold air even with the sunshine. So below average temperatures will be continuing in North Carolina. But as we get into Thursday, we'll start to see a bit of a change. We have this system that comes in. There's going to be a few clouds from it that are going to be uh, making the sky uh, more partly cloudy. And we're also going to see that the cool air mass is going to lose its grip, so we're going to see warmer temperatures arrive as well. But also, another thing to note here is that there's a system out of the west that's actually going to be driving up our rain chances over the weekend as it tracks across the east coast at the end of the week. I'll have more of that in a bit. So tonight, with the cool, clear night, expect temperatures to drop down into the low 20s with a 5-10 mile per hour wind possibly making wind chills out into the upper teens, so dress accordingly. Then, during the daytime, even though the sun's going to be out the whole time warming the surface, it's going to stay pretty cold. We wake up in the morning and see 25 degrees, and then as we get to lunch break, temperature only gets into the mid-30s, even with the sunshine, and only 40 degrees as you close out your day. The high temperature is expected to peak into the low 40s, perhaps around 41 degrees, with again these light west-northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour helping supply this cold air. Then as we get to tomorrow, we start to see a bit of a change. The cool air mass loses its grip, and a high of only 50 degrees is expected with only partly cloudy skies and light wind. Then as close out through week, that system that I mentioned that's in the west makes its way over, and then Friday we actually have a chance of rain with the temperature still being quite cool at 48 degrees. Then we actually see more of a warm-up as the west-northwest winds transition to more of a southwest wind, and that means we get some warm moist air out the Gulf of Mexico, and that means we have temperatures returning to a bit more seasonal, maybe even above average temperatures to get to Sunday. However, that system that's going to be coming out of the west makes its way over, and we actually have rain and even a threat for thunderstorms as we get to Sunday. So above average temperatures will arrive, but it will come with a chance of rain over your weekend. So stay tuned as we'll have more details for this rainfall event. From the NCSU Weather Center, I am meteorologist Terrell Wade. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your night.